welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video for you guys. Um, I got tagged to do this by a good friend of mine and it is the 15 random questions tag. So if you would like to know what questions I was asked and what my answers are, just keep on watching. So the first question, I'm looking off my phone here. First question, Get, oh, get off my screen. Okay. How did you get your YouTube user name? Now, I kind of recently just changed mine, but my original YouTube name was um, Bear Beauty 13 Now, if you watched me from the beginning, my husband's nickname for me is Bear. And um, he's my gator since he claims to be from Florida when he was actually born up here in Maryland. But anyway, so, um, you know, and it was a beauty channel, so we put beauty in there. And then 13 is actually the day I was born and also the year my husband and I got married. So it just kind of went together that way. Um, but right now it's really just like my name. So, um, but yeah, that's that one. Let's see, next one. If you could change your name to anything, what it what would it be and why? To be honest, I don't want to change my name. Um, I actually really like my name, um, and I'm pretty sure if I ha if my last name got changed, my husband would kill me. <laughs> Just saying. But I like my name, and I wouldn't change it. Um, question number three: If you could go back in time and give your younger self advice, what would it be and why? Where do I start with that? Um, I mean, honestly, I'm not going to lie. If it wasn't for my history, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And I know that's kind of cliche, but I'm being serious about it. Um, I would probably give myself the advice of, you know, put yourself first. Um, don't quit school. Um, <laughs> I wish I could tell my younger self it does get better. Um, because it definitely did. I mean, I met my husband, I got three gorgeous dogs, and yeah, so I, I would probably tell myself, you know, it does get better. Um, next question is, how old were you when you first learned to blow bubblegum bubble? I don't know. I don't know what the hell they're doing out there. I don't know if y'all could hear that. Um, to blow a bubblegum bubble. I want to say I probably was like, you know, 10, 11. I definitely wasn't a young sprout doing that. Um, I actually could whistle before I knew how to, you know, blow a bubble. But, um, yeah, I'd say about 10 or 11. Let's see, next question. What did you want to be when you were little? I guarantee you when I answer this, nobody would answer exactly what I'm getting ready to answer. Um, you know, people want to be actresses and singers, and I wanted to be an ethiologist. Now, before you guys are like, huh, what? Once I saw the movie Jaws, I was hooked. Um, an ethiologist is, or so, is um, a shark scientist. And I still have on my bucket list that when we move to Florida, I do want to, you know, book a boat that would, you know, put a cage in the water so I could go swimming with a shark. And my mom and my mother-in-law said that they just want to, you know, beat me senseless because they're like, no, you shouldn't do that. But I, I really am intrigued. And I guarantee you I've seen every single shark movie they've came out with, whether it was National, Ge National Geographic or, you know... Jaws, Shark Attack 1, 2, and 3, and all the sci-fi ones. Trust me. They've made it. I've seen it. Let's see. Next one. What do you order at Starbucks? Okay, so I rarely go to Starbucks, but when I do, it depends on the season. Um, in the summer, I go for their vanilla bean, um, what is it? Vanilla bean something. It's actually cold. It really, it does taste like straight up vanilla. And they top it with some whipped cream. I mean, oh my God. 
I could die after having one of those. Like, it's just amazing. Now, if it's cold outside and it's winter, then I usually get their, um, oh, God, what is it called? Um, oh, Jesus. Um, their white chocolate mocha, but I always get an extra shot of white chocolate just because, I guess to me, nothing's ever really too sweet. Um, but those are two things I order from, um, Starbucks. Um, let me see. Whoops. Come back. Um, what's the hardest you've ever laughed? I, the last time I probably laughed, like, really hard was probably just this past weekend. Um, my husband and I, we don't own the house we live in, so our dogs, when we're, like, out, you know, the dogs are usually in their cage. Um, but we let them all out the other, uh, the other night, I was it was like Saturday, Sunday, something. We had them loose downstairs with us, and Hercules and Max just kept going nuts, and like, I have pictures, I might see if I can shoot, like, a picture up or something. I have Her Hercules trying to give me kisses in my ear, I have Max trying to lay his head on me, and, you know, my husband's just sitting there trying to mess with the dogs. I mean, we, we just, we had a good time. Like, I laughed to the point I almost, like, peed my pants, kind of laugh. Like, that's how much fun we had. Um, people have that, you know, with their kids. We have it with our dogs. Um, let me see. If you could play any musical instrument, what would it be and why? I actually was in band for, like, a year, and I actually played a baritone. I actually tried out for, like, the flute and the clarinet, and my band teacher said I had too much hot air to do those, so he had me, you know, go for a baritone. But if I really could have played an instrument, I would have liked the flute or the clarinet. Um, let me see. What is your favorite thing to do when you're upset? I don't know if I really have a favorite thing to do when I'm upset, but I'll put it to you this way, and I'm pretty sure my husband will say the same thing. Leave me alone. If I walk out, leave me alone. Don't come approaching me about it, because that's when I really will get in your face and, like, go nuts. I really am, and I'm just that way. Um, but I usually would go into um, our bedroom with the lights off, either blare some loud music or, you know, just lay in bed, like, to try and just chill out. Um, but, yeah, that's that one. Um, let me see. Number 10. What's your favorite movie? I have quite a few, and I think if I listed them, we'd be here all day. Um, any of the Jaws movies are really, really good. Um, for all my, what, I think this came out in the 80s. Porky's? Oh, my God. I remember the beginning of my channel, I was watching that thing like crazy. Porky's is hilarious. It is like the 80s version of American Pie. And to be honest, I've seen all the American Pie movies, but it doesn't come close to Porky's. I think Porky's is more legit, and it's hilarious. Um, but those are kind of where I'm at. Oh, no, I take that back. Jurassic Park 1 or Part 4 are my absolute faves. And I've been stuck on watching either one of them. Um, but, yeah, I love those movies. Um, what's one... Whoops. My screen went blank. Okay. What's one food you cannot live without? There isn't just one food I can't live without, okay? I have to have my pizza. I would have to have my Chinese food and seafood. I think if I had just those three, I'd be gravy. I really would. Don't You don't have to give me anything else. Just those three, and I'm a happy person. Uh, let me see. What's your favorite dessert? Oh, that's a good question. I usually like anything with berries in it. Um, I know we went to Red Lobster a couple weeks back, and they had... I can't think of the name of the damn thing, but basically, you have a biscuit, you have whipped cream, and you have the berries, and like the berry juice, that thing is amazing. I want to say it's a, a berry trifle, but I know I'm definitely off on that one. That stuff is good. It's not too sweet, but it's not, you know, 
not sweet, if that makes any sense. Love that stuff. Um, what is your favorite pizza topping? Cheese, cheese, and more cheese. And my girlfriend's going to laugh at me because when she tagged me in the video, she told me what her topping was. I totally wrote, like, a long comment of just saying cheese. Like, <laughs> cheese is my overall favorite. You don't have to put anything on it. Put some extra, extra, extra cheese. I'm good to go. I, that's definitely my absolute favorite topping if I had to just choose one. Um, would you rather have a superpower to read minds or the superpower to be invisible? That's a good one. Um, I, I'm not sure, to be honest. I mean, part of me is almost thinking, you know, I don't know if I really want to read everybody's minds or be invisible when someone's talking about me. You know what? I'm not, you know what? No. I would like to be invisible because I'll tell you this. If I heard somebody talking bad about me and being invisible, I'd smack them in their face. And then they wouldn't know what happened because, you know, no one's there. But that's just me. Uh, let me see. What did you do for your last birthday? Honestly, we didn't do anything um, this year just because um, the lady I took care of before she passed away, actually passed away a day before my birthday, um, my husband definitely was trying to get me to go out. I just, I, cu I couldn't do it. Uh, when you take care of somebody for that long and, you know, the extent of taking care of somebody like that, it, it's not easy just to let go. Um, but I'll say this, I'm just thankful she's not in any more pain, and you know, hey. But, yeah, we didn't do anything for my birthday this year. Not from lack of trying, but I just, I, I didn't want to go out. Um, if you had one personal selfish wish, what would that be and why? Hey, this could go multiple of ways. Um... I don't know. I've always been very self-conscious. Um, I guess if I could have, like, lipo to get rid of, like, some of my stomach, I would be, you know, in a little bit of my thighs, I would be happy. Um, but, you know, everybody's like, you should love yourself and da 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 My husband does, which is, you know, a big plus in my favor. But I'm just kind of... I don't know. I've always been self-conscious. It's just a thing for me. Um, let's see. The last question, number 17, is describe yourself in three words. Very first one, and my husband would definitely agree to this, is blunt. I've always told everybody, do not ask me for my opinion unless you don't want an honest answer. You know, my parents didn't raise a liar, but I don't know. As I've gotten older and I've seen what I've kind of went through, I was just kind of like, no. You know, I'm going to be straight up and honest. If you don't like it, then don't ask me. Um, number two, I would say that I'm passionate. Um, no matter what I do, I always try and put my best foot forward. And um, mm, and, 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 and I'm a good cook. My husband would swear by that one, too. Actually, I think most of my family would swear by that one. Um, I definitely loved, I love cooking. I really do. Um, but, yeah, that's that's all the questions. I was tempted to add more in because I've actually seen more versions of these. But I think I'm just going to stick with those for now. Um but yeah, that is the tag. These are the questions. I will have these listed below. If you're watching this video and you want to do the tag, then you are tagged. Go ahead and have at it. I would like to also see you guys' answers. If you guys don't have a channel, then you can tell me your answers down in the comments below. I don't have an issue with that. And if you like videos like this, go ahead and give them a big thumbs up up that would make my day and even if you subscribe that would make my day even sweeter and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>